Hello there, you. I'm going to try to figure out, <clears throat> think, uh, new thoughts while you watch me stumble. I recently got these two uh, Triumph Nibbed desk pens in the mail on eBay, and I was quite happy with them. But then I started thinking that I wasn't as happy with them as I wanted to be originally. And there's nothing wrong with them, not a goddamn thing wrong with them, but they are not pleasing me in the same way that other ones do. Now, a Triumph Nib pen from one of these conical shaped things. And unless you're very lucky in your collection, you won't, or in the field when you're looking, you will never find one that's flexible. There are some out there, but you don't generally find them, or a music nib, or a big broad stub nib, or something. Most of them are all relatively firm, and um, are sort of no-nonsense Johnny One Note kind of a pen, meaning they will make a line, and the line doesn't vary, and the line is standardized and understandable, and um, when you pick it up and write with it, you know what you're going to get. There's no surprise, really. Now, I have, subsequent to getting these pens, I have swapped out the nibs so that the ones that are in there now make me smile, whereas the ones that were in there originally did not. Now, let me see if I can find one that was originally there that I swapped out. Was this one of them? I think this was one of them. Now, there's nothing wrong with this pen, not a darn thing, but don't try to understand with me why I don't like it. Maybe it's just that this is really a great pen. What I like about these pens is when they have a Johnny four note variety. You can write with them this way, point, regular point this way down, and that gets you a line. Sometimes when there's a shaped nib, you can get a slightly different line going this way than that way. And there's a slight difference here. But you can also flip them over and you can get a same two variety line. So it's sort of thick, thinner, thinner yet, and thinnest. You sort of get four varieties four pens in one um, when you're lucky. Sometimes you just get two. There's going to be this side and that side, and that's going to be it. Um, but the, the, one that was, the ones that were in here originally were sort of those only two notes. In fact, this was one of the ones that came with it. And this one sort of is that two-note variety. There's not the variety that I like. I like... Like this one has four. This does one, two, it's a slight difference there, three, four. And there's a slight difference there. So when I'm using this pen and I'm drawing with it, it's more for drawing than writing, I have a really nice little range. And I know that I'm, it's not a range that you get with flexible nib pens. It's not, it's not that kind of a range. It's sort of the range that you can get with those FUDA pens or whatever they're called with the weird nibs that depending on how you angle the pen, you get a different line. When I think of those pens, I think of a stick shift in a sports car.
where you go from second to third and you move that thing up and down. And I personally find that less comfortable and easy than rotating the pen like this. Um, sometimes I like to have, you know, the palm of my, my hand touching the paper and to be, have to move my hand differently will create more problems than it's solving, I think. So this one is good. This one has the variety that I like in a Triumph nib pen. This one doesn't. This one is unsatisfying. I really like it though, so I'm keeping this one in my collection for the moment just because it's a striped piston fill that actually works. Um, but it's not as much fun to draw with as that one was. This one. This one does do the four in one routine perfectly fine. This one is, a, is fun to draw with. Good. This one, one. This one should be. Why, why am I? Maybe, maybe, maybe it, this is just, there's a nice range between the, hi kitty. There's a nice range between the broad thick side and the thin side, but there's not really a, a range between the side strokes. So that it, this is a two note pen, which is again what I did not like. Um, this one, if I'm remembering correctly, I've done a lot of drawings with recently, and it seems to me, see now this is just like the one that I said I didn't like, and why do I like this one? You see, I need you people to help me. Why? What's going on here with my little brain? Why can't I make up my own mind? This one I like. And this one... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but... That's what it is. I can't put my finger on it. It's not the name. Frank Canson, Sansom, Sansom, help if I could read, Sansom, Frank Sansom's pen, that's not it. Well, I'll, I'll try to figure this out, but the f four notes are what I like. I like my, my Triumph nibs to, to be able to sing with four different notes. distinct the notes are, the better, I think, in my mind. There's something very satisfying about these pens. The design is really, really cool, I think. Um, they feel very strong. They are very strong. And um, again, I'm using this desk pen. Um, I like the desk pens because you have this uninterrupted area that you can sort of hold the pen. You can really pu pull it back like this and draw if your hand coordination is good enough. You can sort of draw with your hand far away from the drawing. You can see what you're doing. It's, you know, when people are holding the pen like this and almost vertically, okay, did I not pay my electric bill? Well, I didn't pay my electric bill, but that's not why it went out. It's because the switch is defective. But when you, there are some people that I want, I see drawing and they, they, their hand is so close to the, the tip of the pen that they have to 
stick their, you know, lay their head on the desk to see what they're doing, and that's just wrong. Just telling you right now, that is wrong. Um, it's nice, especially when you're drawing. If you're writing, I don't care what you do. But if you're drawing or doing calligraphy, it's really nice to see the entire page you're working on while you draw, especially what you're actually drawing. So now how do I even know I'm hitting, let's say I wanted, here's a face and two ears and a mouth and I've done one eye and a nose. Now it's time for draw, to draw the other eye. Now I could draw the other eye like this. Where is it going to go? It's like pinning the tail on the donkey for God's sake. You know, I have to lean all the way over here to see that I'm doing it. And even then I don't know because I can't tell how far off the, the page the nib is the way I was looking. Here, you know, I can look at it. There we go. There's where the other eye is going to go, right there. See how I did that? I couldn't do that when I was doing this. So if, if I was drawing, again, a real picture, not this, it's sort of neat to draw where you can see what you're doing rather than even like this. This is covering up a lot of the drawing. Here, oh, and I've got all this white space over here. Let's fill this up with stuff. And I didn't really figure this out until just relatively recently when I watched a picture of a little video of my favorite artist in the world, Saul Steinberg, drawing with a dip pen, and he held it way back, which really surprised me. And first I thought, well, how does he even have control over what he's doing? But he does, obviously, and it was really a, a surprise. But I don't always hold the pen like that. I'm, I usually hold it like this. And a desk pen, if this were a pocket pen, I would be almost holding it by the barrel, not by the, you know, not up here. I mean, that's how I normally would hold a pen like that. But sometimes when I'm drawing, I'll hold it back like this again so I can see what I'm doing. And a desk pen allows you to do that really, really well because there's not, there's not a cap to run into here when you're moving your hand in and out and you're holding it like this and you're twisting it about. A cap, you can, you know, the cap can be a hindrance. So my collection of desk pens, even just the pens, not so much the bases, but I've got lots and lots of desk pens that I use for drawing and calligraphy. And there's other drawers of them. And it's really, they're really quite a nice uh, change from a pocket pen. And this one works. This has the one one, two, that's kind of close though. One, two, three, four. This, one, this is a good one. Four and one. Well, I guess that's it for my, my uh, morning video. See, I like this one. Don't I? I do. And why did what made me take this nib out of that base? I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. In your comments, try to figure it out. Thank you. Say goodbye, kitty. Oh, I know, I made a noise, kitty.